Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where the soft heart is so far down the rabbit hole that he might never escape this one. In fact, he believes that, well, his uh, corporate self only exists on paper and he's been trying to turn that into the into the jail so he, that paper can serve time yeah that kind of thing but it doesn't exactly work out for him in the end so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show jesus christ is king all right cause number two three one two nine three zero three and two three one two nine three zero four um Aren't you going to take a seat? No, I'd rather stand. It's it's your hearing, sir. Is it okay if I stand? Uh, is there something wrong? With Why do you have to stand so close to him? The, the, the sign there that says no standing. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. I didn't know I was subject to those rules. I didn't agree to it. Anyway. Okay, so there's a bench warrant. Um, you know, I'm just going to take this, this seat. Thank you. Yeah, right here. That makes us a little more comfortable. Is it, is it, is it, un is it uncomfortable if I stand up, Your Honor? Well, uh, depends on how you're going to act or behave today. Um, okay, so you failed to appear for court multiple times in this case. Now, Your Honor, just for the record, the, uh, the named defendant is actual property, a registered trade name. Oh, here we go. And the uh, case has also been certified as a fraud. I have court certified documents to prove that. Now, don't tell a lie like that. Just because your case was dismissed at one point doesn't mean that it was a fraud. So get that shit straightened out. Now, he's going to go pretty heavy into the uh, soft hard jargon. So I'm going to play a little clip from a previous video that I encountered to explain what is going on here. It comes from a very idiosyncratic belief that you can separate the legal or corporate aspects of a person and their natural or living person. Sovereign citizens believe there is the living person, aka flesh and blood human being, aka you that came out of your mom, and the legal person, which is just an administrative concept only created when a government issues someone with documentation of the state, like, say, a birth certificate. Sovereign citizens believe that they can reject their legal personality and therefore laws don't apply to them and their natural living personality is unfettered by any of the restrictions that typically apply to all of us. Okay, Okay. how does this apply to uh, what uh, this Sovtard is talking about? Well, when this Sovtard is talking about the defendant, he is talking about the self on paper, the corporate self, the dead self that they were just talking about on there. So when he refers to the defendant, he's referring to the paperwork that he considers to be his corporate self. And whenever he talks about trying to turn in the defendant to the jail, which he will in a few minutes, that means he was trying to turn in the piece of paper that he thinks represents himself instead of turning himself in. And of course, the people at the jail being sensible, intelligent people realize that, well, we're not going to hold a piece of paper accountable for the actions of the actual person who committed these actions. So they rejected the paper and wanted the real person to turn him himself in. But of course, the uh, soft heart just can't pull his head out of his ass for two minutes and realize that this shit isn't going to work in the real world. That should be on the record. And that's the reason why I was certified to be a fraud, because the uh, plaintiff is a foreign-owned private corporation, of which uh, I have no contract with, and neither does the uh, registered trade name. And the registered trade name uh, has been used without authorization and permission, and there's an act of identity theft, and that's probably one of the reasons also why the state has acquiesced that the both cases are a fraud. Okay, and that, allow me to translate this for you once again, because this is quite insane and quite idiotic. Since he believes that the uh, state of Washington 
is a corporation and not a government that they don't have the right to use his name in any form, either corporate or the living person, so therefore it is a fraud, according to him, which is a load of fucking bullshit. I have that in court certified documents with me today as well. It should be on the record. May, Your Honor, just a minute, please. I just may add one more piece of information. I am a foreign sovereign with respect to the privately owned foreign corporation known as the state of Washington. Okay, so um, on the 9304, uh, I am going to quash that one. Um, he's in, he was in Ralch appeal status. And so um, I'm going to quash that one. Um, but I do want to hear from the state on the 303 matter. Oh, yes, on the 303 matter, uh, Mr. Haywood was um, sentenced to serve four days in jail. He failed to report to the jail on June 29, 2020. June 29, 2023, and we're asking him to be taken into custody to serve that time. No objection, Your Honor. I actually contacted the jail to make special arrangements to deliver the defendant with the uh, special arrangements to not damage the paper, and the jail refused. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh, you tried to make special arrangements for the jail not to damage the paper while I was in custody. Okay, this guy is, well, he really drank the Kool-Aid in this particular case because he actually believes that the jail would take a piece of paper into custody instead of the uh, actual person that was meant to be in the jail? Oh, boy, he doesn't think very highly of anybody else but himself because the jailers would have to be complete dumbasses to even accept the paper. I mean, good freaking grief. Uh, so uh, I attempted to deliver the defendant and objection. The state has no standing as they are representing a privately owned foreign corporation and the prosecutor is not uh, licensed to practice law in this country. Yeah, yeah. Do you have proof of that? Any citations that the uh, prosecutor is not licensed to practice in the United States simply because, well, all your sovereign citizen gobbledygook freaking garbage doesn't actually work in the courts. So why are you trying it out? Because it only gets you arrested at the end of this video anyway. Okay, so I think it's the 303 that was he was convicted and ordered to do jail and um, you believe that that he didn't comply with jail because there's a docket entry that said defendant complied with jail. Maybe that was an error. That was probably my attempt to deliver the defendant to the jail, but they refused. I understand and we really looked that he had not, as was the state's actually that he had not served the jail time. And just to clarify, the defendant only exists on paper, just as the plaintiff only exists on paper. The jail refused the paper, and uh, here we are today. And the state still has a woman standing yet, by the way, as well. So, Mr. Haywood, it doesn't look like you did uh, the sentence on the 303 matter. Um, and so I am going to yeah, quash definitely. the warrant. However, I am going to um, I am going to uh, have you serve that time. Okay, well, I'll deliver the paperwork to the jail. That's fine. I tried to once before, but they refused it. Um, and just to clarify, I'm not the defendant. There is nothing on there, nor is there any testimony from anybody as first-hand witnesses under penalty of perjury that I am the defendant. Um, and I've uploaded plenty of documentation to prove I'm not the actual defendant. That is a registered trade name, matter of public record, and registered with the state. Um, so if, if you want me to, set, to serve some jail time, then we're going to need to change who the defendant is because I'm not the defendant. All right. So um, can, we need a new – can you upload a new commitment? Yes, Your Honor. And the reason they couldn't put my name on there as a defendant is because I'm a foreign sovereign with respect to the corporate entity known as the state of Washington, of which I have no contract with. 
Okay, so what, with respect to the 304 matter, which is still pending, what's your position on the warrant, Ms. Fredenberg? Oh, this day was going to ask for that warrant to be served. Objection to jurisdiction. The state has never proven any jurisdiction and has no jurisdiction or standing. So any request for statements from the any representative from the state or a nullity and a fraud. The jurisdiction's challenge, it must be established on the record. And it hasn't been, and it still isn't. You can do it now if you like, if you can. Okay, so um, Mr. Haywood, you failed to appear many, 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 many times in both of these matters, um, had many warrants quashed. And um, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I'm not confident that you're gonna come back to court given the history of here of failing to appear. I will agree to come back to court on behalf of the defendant. The, the appearance fiasco was simply because the communication between the acting prosecutor at the time and myself I have plenty of emails. So in one case, he said he was just going to reschedule with the judge. I told him reschedule whenever you want. I'll go ahead and be there and I'll bring the defendant with me. And next thing you know, there is a warrant for a failure to appear. So there's been plenty of fun and games with the acting prosecutor at the time. Um, so it wasn't just a matter of not bringing the defendant to the court. Uh, the prosecutor was uh, intentionally sabotaging the scheduling process. Uh, uh, you may want to tread carefully, dude, because, well, the judge is on to your uh, bullshit, and uh, she's going to have you here in just a few moments. And second of all, it's not the prosecutor that's the reason for the uh, misunderstanding. It's you who are the reason for the misunderstanding. Your very delusional mindset, that is. One that, well, is about to get you into some serious trouble. So let's carry on, shall we? Well, the prosecutor doesn't handle scheduling. The court does. So the court ordered you to be here, and then you weren't. So... No objection. The court ordered the defendant to be here. I am simply bringing the defendant to the court to help try to solve the problem. The fact that the registered trade name remains as a named defendant is an act of identity theft and fraud. And that's probably why the state has acquiesced that the case is a fraud. I have the documentation here with me today in case if they decided not to upload it to the court record. Well, you had your day in court on the 303 matter. You had a trial. <clears throat> you represented yourself. Uh, or the defendant, whichever way you want to say it, but you represented um, the defendant yourself and um, you were convicted and you uh, were ordered to serve four days in jail. You didn't do that. Sorry, so yeah, the defendant was ordered to serve four days in jail and I attempted to deliver the defendant to the jail, but the jail refused. Okay, well, I'm going to make sure that they don't because um, I've done a new commitment for you today so that they won't refuse uh, for for uh, the defendant to um, serve that time. I'm gonna serve the warrant and so... Um... Oh, are you butthurt that your little sovtard tactic didn't work out on the judge? Oh, I can make it all better for you because I can send you a free tube of Black Heart Knight's butthurt cream. It's specially medicated to relieve any pain in your butthurt ass. And just to remember, a dab will do you because I have a feeling you're going to need a lot of it in the future. Oh, by the way, I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Alan, for sending me this uh, beautiful meme right here. He's been supplying me with a number of my more recent memes, and I really appreciate all that you do for me. Thank you very much. And this one in particular is beautiful. We need a pretrial date, Madam Clerk. Um, there's no jurisdiction yet been proven or standing. Are we going to continue? That would be an act of fraud and treason. And here we go. We've got a hat trick. We got somebody here who's pretty ignorant in the law, pretty ignorant in uh, courtroom proceedings, and now very ignorant within the Constitution because, well, the Constitution does define treason as rendering aid and comfort to the enemy and has done so in times of war. 
of declared war. And there has been a declared war since uh, World War II, you dumbass. So why don't you, uh, well, actually read something. That's a felony. That's an arrestable offense. I put both of them in one of our. Well, we don't. We don't need anything on the three zero three. He's just going to serve a sentence. Okay. We just need the three zero four. And yes, I, I have the defendant here with me today. You can take him to the jail if you like. So your next court date is going to be September thirteenth. We probably need to change that since I'm taking him into custody. Um, so do we have anything in August? Excuse me, Your Honor. Are you testifying that I am the defendant under penalties of perjury? I'm not testifying to anything. Good. And here's the defendant right here. All right. And then we can do uh, August 24th at 10:30. All right. I can change that. Thank you, Your Honor. So August 24th at 10:30 in the morning will be your next court date. I will be here with the defendant. No problem. You're going to serve those four days, and then you'll be released, and nothing more will happen on that 303 case. You'll be done. And then um, this case will be heard August 24th at 1030 in the morning. If you change your mind about representing yourself, then you can ask for help uh, if you want it. If you don't want help, we don't have to ha have it. So we'll see you in August. I'm going to have you take a seat right over there. We'll be here for the defendant on August 24th. Would you like me to deliver the defendant to the jail? Um, I would like you to sit over there. Is there any standing the or defendant. Is there jurisdiction chosen, proven here yet? Please go take a seat. Okay, so no, let the record reflect no jurisdiction has been proven. Stop it with the jurisdiction argument already, dude. I mean, you can't even uh, define treason properly. So what makes you think that anybody would want to listen to an incompetent buffoon such as yourself? So let's just go ahead and skip to the part where the uh, officer arrives to put this asshat in the handcuffs, shall we? Custody, please. I just need to see the name. I just need to see the name of the person. Okay, that's not me. That's the problem here. Christopher Sanborn's matter. We're here today. That's not me. The name is Sam, but that's my registered trade name. I got all that documentation right here. Okay, good. So we're going okay. Yeah. Well, this is the defendant, technically. If you want that, I can go with you. Put everything private. One second. That's taken care of. Did she file a notice of appearance? I will make sure that she does, Your Honor. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet today. <laughs> so yeah, no, you've got Ms. Bradshaw, so that's fine. You don't need to do those forms. Um, but she does need to file a notice of appearance. Well, you, sir, are, yeah, you need to go back to school. You need to relearn everything. Because, well, it sure as hell didn't help you in this particular occasion. Because, well, sir, congratulations. You are a total moron. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?